Hey, I'm Dee. And I'm Steve. And welcome to episode 4 of Dee's Science Sea Lab. Today, we're going to be investigating about factors that affect reaction rates. That's right. First, we'll start off by explaining the subcategories of reaction rates, with which are concentration, temperature, surface area, and catalysts. But wait, what's a concentration? A concentration means the greater the concentration of the reactant, the faster the reaction is. The increased concentration of the reactants mean that there are more atoms of each reactant available to react. And what's the temperature? The temperature of the reactants can also affect the rate of reaction. The more heat added <coughs> to the reactant, the faster the reaction. The added heat causes the atoms of, the, of each reactant to move faster. So what's the surface area? A surface area basically means increasing the surface area of the reactants is another factor that can increase the reaction rate, the rate of the reaction. So, what that means is, the greater the surface area of the reactants means the more area is available for the reaction. So what's a catalyst? Well, let's see. Catalysts are a substance that can help reaction proceed faster. They are present with the reactants of the reaction, but they are not consumed during the reaction. Reactions involving catalysts can be found in most living and non living things. What it's saying is, the most common example in living things is in your body. Many reactions, reactions such as breaking down food, require a catalyst called enzyme. Without enzymes, many reactions would be required, such as higher temperatures, a situation that would be deadly to the human body. And that's what a catalyst is. Thanks for watching our fourth episode of D Science C Lab. See you again on our next episode about pe the periodic table. See you soon.